SCP-001 Technical Clearance Required. This document exists as technical containment for an anomaly and thus does not adhere to standard SIPnet formatting. Input 5 slash technical clearance to proceed. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures If the sky begins changing color with no prior stimuli or indication, all Foundation sites are to go on to Alert Level 7 immediately. Personnel at Site 05 and 06 are to enter Alert Level 8 and begin evaluating new methods of containing SCP-001. Site 05 has been constructed around Point Alpha. Procedure 001 entry is in effect to contain SCP-001-1. A monitor containing document 032, as well as a speaker reading the document, are to be placed at least 5 meters away from SCP-001-1. If SCP-001-1 swells up to 2 meters or more in diameter, the speed of the narration is to increase. This system is to have a direct cable link to the Foundation SkipNet database at Site-06, and several redundant power generators are to ensure this system stays operational at all times. Description: SCP-001 is an ongoing ZK-class reality failure scenario. SCP-001 is prevented from happening through several procedures manipulating its sub-anomalies. The only known observable symptom of SCP-001 is the sky becoming a different color. It is believed that, if SCP-001 were to progress to the point where other symptoms began to occur, it would become irreversible. SCP-001-1 is a levitating object contained within Point Alpha a cave chamber 5 km south of the ruins of Babylon. SCP-001-1 visually resembles a perfectly smooth sphere with a texture similar to blurred television static. Measurement instruments indicate SCP-001-1 is currently meters in diameter. Solids and liquids that pass within the bounds of SCP-001-1 are replaced entirely with argon gas, given the illusion of disappearing. SCP-001-2 is an entity that is capable of being seen within Point Alpha. SCP-001-2's manifestations are random. Witnesses report seeing SCP-001-2 past the walls of the cave. From descriptions of eyewitnesses, SCP-001-2 is humanoid in shape and large in stature, and is only visible when looking through SCP-001-1. Descriptions of SCP-001-2 vary from person to person. Common features include an emaciated figure, long limbs, and prominent facial features. SCP-001-2 takes the position of lying against the wall. It is most often seen with a neutral expression, however the expression occasionally changes to discomfort or bliss. It has been determined from historical precedent that entertaining SCP-001-2 through SCP-001-1 will prevent SCP-001. History Point Alpha and its contents are believed to date back to prehistory. Babylonian scripts indicate that SCP-001-1 was routinely patrolled by a group of sages known as the Order of White and Black, who refused passage to anyone who could demonstrate the ability to read or write. This group was made defunct by the rise of Archimedes Persia, who contained SCP-001-1 with a group of Zoroastrian monks. Very few accounts of SCP-001-1 are present. Recovered accounts reassert that all information about SCP-001-1 and its significance was passed orally. The most substantial account of SCP-001-1 and SCP-001-2 at this time dates back to the Greek philosopher Zira who made an expedition into the Archimedes Empire and found Point Alpha. During Alexander of Macedon's conquest of the Archimedes Empire, he took interest in Zero's text and continued the Archimedes containment of SCP-001-1. However, this new institution, known as the Cronus Guard, was given Greek epics to read in order to punish Cronus for his actions. This institution lasted through the partition of Macedon into the Seleucid Empire the rise of the Sassanid Empire, and even the formation of the Rashidun Caliphate. The Cronus Guard were eventually replaced with an Islamic equivalent, 
the Society for the Containment of the Babel Demon. This group was the first to perform substantial research on SCP-001-1 and the first to accurately link SCP-001 to SCP-001-1. Literature read, The First Quatrain of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam Demon squirms but otherwise does not react, consistent with reading of Homer's epics by the Crotus Guard. Literature read, The Remaining Quatrains of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam Result, No changes from observed behavior. Literature read, a poem written by guardian Muhammad ibn Boyai meant explicitly for demon. Result, demon thrashes more than usual until the cessation of the reading, or begins to expand until the genealogies of the nobles is read to demon. Literature read, none for ten days. Result, orb is observed to expand, and demon is observed to thrash. Externally, the sky above the camp is known to turn a darker red color until the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam is read again. Literature read, The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam Result, Demon thrashes more than during previous readings of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. It is believed that the Quran may no longer have any effect on Demon. Literature read, One Thousand and One Nights Result, Demon ceases thrashing. New literature may be necessary to prevent further phenomena from occurring. The society was eventually absorbed into the Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, who assumed containment of SCP-001-1. After Incident 001 Axel, the Foundation purchased Point Alpha from ORIA for a large sum of currency and several safe class anomalies. Incident 001 Axel Note, Some documentation taken from ORIA's account of Incident 001 Axel. On August 5, 2018, Personnel with ORIA read the book Tasfir al-Alam al-Kabir, or Great Book of Interpretation of Dreams, as per normal containment of SCP-001-1. However, SCP-001-2 was observed to rapidly thrash while screaming. SCP-001-1 itself swelled from 50.3 cm to 3.2 m in diameter. Shortly following this event, SCP-001 began to worsen. The sky worldwide turned a black-white color similar to the texture of SCP-001-1. In addition, reality-bending phenomena began worldwide, causing deformed geography, the manifestation of dangerous anomalous objects, and several natural disasters. This event was ended after ORIA personnel read SCP-001-1, an undisclosed number of as-of-yet unread books which caused SCP-001-2 to stop thrashing and SCP-001 to restore to its pre-incident point. However, the damage caused by this incident was deemed enough to require an activation of SCP-2000. This prompted the Foundation to take control of containment of SCP-001. See history segment above for more information. During Incident 001-Alpha, Vocalizations in Davis were recorded by ORIA instruments within Point Alpha. The source is presently unknown. The following are approximate translations of these vocalizations. It has passed some space-time. The unknown Gyra has passed. It has had used to be fun. It is time-space to leave. You cannot stay, root, hold yourself forever. The unknown Gyra has passed. You must, will awaken. No, you have entered, re-entered slumber for too long, wake up. King, Prince, Loved One, it is time for you to wake up. It is fun to be in the unknown Gyra, but you cannot be in, rooted there forever unending. It is entertaining, death-like, but you must wake up. Wake up, King, Prince, Loved One, we miss you. Addenda Discussion Thread 001-398 Continued Containment Started on August 5, 2019 Started by HMCL Robinson HMCL Robinson The usage of this thread will be for containment directed for SCP-001. In the past year that we have spent containing it, SCP-001-1's literature needs have become increasingly draconic. We can very rarely reread books without it beginning to thrash and even then we're running out of high-quality literature to give it. We need a more long-term, reliable solution for containment, 
SCP-001's file has been temporarily opened up to all personnel with level 2 clearance. Anybody can submit an idea. Proposal. Use artificial intelligence constructs to automatically generate new stories for SCP-001-2. Status approved. Result. TSATPWTCOTTTADC.AIC was able to generate 10,000 volumes of stories imitating Greek literature. However, when it was first read to SCP-001-1, it began thrashing beyond acceptable measures until it was read approved reading. No further computer-generated works are to be given to SCP-001-1. Proposal. Hire a full team of authors to create literature for SCP-001-1. Status Denied Reason In the past, literature written specifically for SCP-001-1 have failed to contain it. See SCTBD Document No. 249. With SCP-001-2's current state, this is not to be attempted again. Proposal Read main list documentation for SCP- the SCP-001-1. Status denied. Reason: This could represent a possible information leak. Test denied. Proposal: Read main list documentation for SCP to SCP-001-1. Status approved. Reason: With SCP-001-2's recent containment breach, these measures are approved. Result: SCP-001-2 observed to stop thrashing and stay completely still, seemingly smiling. In addition, SCP was able to be read for 14 consecutive readings before SCP-001-2 resumed normal activity. Proposal: Regularly read main list documentation for SCP-001-1. Status approved. Proposal. Replacement of the SCP-001 file with several 001 proposals with much more grant implications than normal SCP files. Status approved. Result, by only occasionally reading 001 files, SCP-001-2 is observed to be more calm on average. The previously observed actions of retaliation and response to specially crafted literature do not apply here. Proposal. Expansion of the SCP series beyond SCP-999 and declassification of several unnumbered SCP objects into these slots. Status approved. Proposal: Given the variation of the current 2957 SCP main list files, SCP-001-1 is to be read a random arrangement of these files and repeat. Status approved. Result: This strategy succeeded for approximately three years allowing for several repeats. However, on September 30, 2022, SCP-001-2 began thrashing rapidly, requiring newer documentation to sedate. Proposal: Expansion of the SCP series beyond SCP-4999 and declassification of several unnumbered SCP objects into these slots. Status denied. Reason: SCP-001-1 has required progressively more SCP mainlist articles for containment, even to the point of the fabrication of some anomalous entities. Proposal: Rewriting of several older SCP mainlist files to be more exaggerated and narrative-like. Status: Tentatively approved. Note: Deliberately exaggerating our files for the purpose of this entity is crossing some lines, but for now it will have to do. However, we need a better way. I'm calling a committee. We need to put a stop to this. Proposal: Creation of a file describing SCP-001 that uses recursion to effectively be never-ending. Psychoanalysis related to SCP-001-2's apparent enjoyment of works implies a slight ego and bias towards works about itself, and past strategies with this idea have worked for long periods of time. File is to be archived as a technical file. Status approved. Result: Procedure 001 entry implemented. Item number SCP-001 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures 